Here are the sum total of my Savage Wave. Uh, and this is, I, I at the moment, I don't see going any farther, though I'm sure there will be models that come out that I want, especially with the new sculpts, which are really nice. Uh, and there may be, I may come up with lists that would require me to add something that I don't have already. But for now, I think this is plenty. I can make a bunch of different um, armies out of this uh, that all play very differently. So... Um, I'm pretty happy about this, honestly. Um, this is within, you see those two Oni in the back. Uh, the skin has been airbrushed. For the most part, I probably um, either will hand paint it to finish it off or maybe do a little more airbrushing now that I have functional airbrushes again. But uh, other than that, this is it. So I am two Oni away of having all of my Savage Wave figures painted. Um, and if you're wondering, you know, why I painted what I painted, uh, early on it was just, you know, what I put together. Now that I've uh, played Savage Wave a lot and, and kind of have a feel for it, um, the, uh, the reason that I haven't painted those two yet is I just don't see needing to use them in any builds um, right now that I'm into. I know a lot of people like uh, the, the big guy with the, um, with the temple, um, with the Tory gate, um, and he is he is good. But um, one of the things that you'll notice in my Oni is I have very few aggressive models, and um, I've decided that that aggression is a trait that I just don't want if I don't have to take it. Um, it comes with too many negatives. Uh, so you don't you also don't see me doing Oni rage very much in my games. I I like being. Um, I like having the ability to use my models tactically and aggression gets in the way of that. So um, anyway, uh, I know this isn't supposed to be a tactical thing. This is more of a painting thing. But So there's my guys. Um, so I've got all the small bakamono. I only have a couple of, uh, or well, most of the small bakamono. I have a couple of the big beefy ones and those are the Rincho. So I've got, I've got a pair of Rincho. Everything's kind of messed up. I have the new box set in here. I've got all of the summonable horde bakamono in here. I've got um, only two um, of the uh, Oni show, and that's primarily because they. I like to run themes, and and until recently, you haven't been able to run Oni show in any theme. So I I bought the two and painted them up, and and I have used them from time to time in mixed lists, which I I like, and I like them both. Um, but uh, that's why I only have a couple. Um, the Oni, there's my collection of Oni. Uh, I've got uh, Bobata the Bell Ringer, Waka the Rampager, Yusha, and Kimono, um, and uh, Zuba. And I'll tell you what, what I'm going to do, well, I'll do just a little bit more. So I have, I've got a fair amount of Oni. And then I've got three um terrain pieces that I've made uh, that were a lot of fun to make. However, I'm going to remake one because it is totally wrong for what it's supposed to be. And that will probably be uh, OG Paints number three. Um, so I'm going to take the camera off the stand. So pardon the moving around. And just to give you guys a little bit of a close-up, like I said, I'm not a professional painter, so don't expect too much. So uh, you also notice I'm, I, I don't usually worry about deviating from the the um the stock examples that that the painters for gct have done i mean if i do it i do it but i i don't it's not a big deal for me to to use their paint schemes in a lot of cases you know they're professional painters they were probably in on the design a little bit and um as a result uh they probably picked a pretty good they probably have a much better understanding of color theory than i do so we've got all kinds of characters. We've got a couple of my humans, um, my Oni slaves, which are actually really handy, um, especially Jun. So if you're looking, you're curious about Oni slaves and you want to just try one, Jun is the character Oni slave. He's the only one that can be made a Vim because he's unique. Uh, and he's, he's, he's awesome for his cost. He's really good. Um, so... There's the bakamono. I found a way to give one uh, a mushroom hat. I'm very happy about that. And then we look at the oni. Uh, I like Yusha. Yusha buffs the dogs. Bobata the bell ringer is pretty good. Waka's good, but he, he um, with only two dice in his melee or his archery attack with that giant head, 
it basically, if he scores with it, he does. It's devastating amounts of damage. If he doesn't, um, which happens more often than you'd like to see, then it's kind of mad. Um, there's my bat, the bat rider, and Ushi and Kimono, which I would argue is the best um, Oni at the moment. And then followed closely by Zuba, who is just really, really handy. There's my Alpha. And then for the terrain pieces, I just finished this one. This is my um, Idol of the Deep. So I, I, it's funny. I would not put this in a terrain competition because uh, I, I didn't do anything. <laughs> the Other than add a little bit of really simple paint, the uh, the little Idol there and the mushrooms, of course, are all by Bennett Mastercrafted Mini Airshares. The uh, bamboo, the handmade bamboo, was made for me by a friend of mine when I... Uh, old 40k friend of mine uh, who's actually is a brilliant builder and painter and has done work for me in the past that I just love and he made those for me uh, as a gift along with some little bits of terrain when I first started getting into Bushido they're really awesome but I uh, I thought this was like a much they'd get a lot more uh, view time if I put them on this idol so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that and then my totem pole you guys have probably seen that's Bakamo that's a, a basically a um, uh, despoiled Ainu totem pole. Um, so those are Ainu totems originally, and then the, all the, the Bakamono did all this stuff to them. And then this is the one that's going to have to be redone. Uh, this one's funny. I really like it. It's a shame. I, w I'm, I think I'm going to turn it in a tr into a terrain piece because I really like it, and I worked really hard on it, spent a lot of time on it. But this is supposed to be a cavern hole. You can see the, the Bakamono climbing out of the, out of the little rotted, you know, thing they've got a hole down in there and a little um a little uh fort up on top or or a tower watchtower unfortunately a cavern hole while it is on the right size base that is the last thing that is correct about this um it's supposed to be difficult terrain and not blocking line of sight and of course this giant thing is impassable and totally blocks line of sight so I have an idea, like I said, for how I'm going to make uh, a cavern hall that actually is interesting and entertaining and is a lot more in line with what the card says it is. So um, unless you guys have some other good idea about what kind of terrain piece this might um, come into play for, or sorry, I mean terrain as in the card in the game, terrain piece. Uh, otherwise, I think I'm just going to put it on kind of a bigger base i'll cut a hole in so i can slip this base in the bigger base and then turn the whole thing into one big terrain piece um focused around this this tree fort so i'll probably put some trees around it and do some other cool things if i can do it so there we go um so that is my savage wave i am really excited it's the uh I, you know like i said i'm two models away from being completely done with a with a significant number of models i mean that's 30 some odd models so so I'm really happy to have that much done on the faction. Um, you will be seeing a whole bunch of new factions as they come along, and I will be doing OG paints for some of them while I work on them, especially doing the airbrushing. So anyway, I don't want to make this drag on for longer. That kind of defeats the point. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the look at my Savage Wave. If you are new and you have Savage Wave or you're uh, thinking about expanding and you are interested in seeing some of the models I have here actually playing, um, I can do that in a battle report for you. All you got to do is make a request. It's no big deal. Um, there's nothing here that I'm not willing to play. So, uh, And it doesn't have to be themed. I mean, I, we all get in the habit of playing themed armies because it's easy. But I actually have discovered that I'm really liking playing armies without a theme because you can put anything you want in them. And as a result, they can do some pretty fun stuff. One of the things I thought I'd point out is I tried to use the bases to give the uh, faction some consistency. And I'm talking more than just uh, the ringing color of the base. Um, as you may have noticed, most of the um, Oni are carrying parts of a temple that they've ripped apart. So we've got a Tory gate, we've got the head of a Buddha, we've got the temple bell. Um, so many of the, uh, the Oni already, you know, we've got maybe the hammer from the temple bell. Um, anyway, a lot of the Oni, not all of them, but a lot of them have bits and pieces of a temple. 
And so what I did when I based the Oni is I took some bits of lanterns, stone lanterns um, that uh, were busted or, or maligned or, or wall, for example, and made them look like they'd been knocked over, some garinto that are in there kind of crooked and knocked over. So I, I based the Oni almost... No, I based all of the Oni so far with some bit of smashed temple to them. And then for the Bakamono, I have already mentioned that all the Bakamono have mushrooms. Some of the other mu models have mushrooms too, but all of the Bakamono have mushrooms. Most of the, the dogs do as well. But I put the Bakamono on a kind of a destroyed temple base. These are precast. I think these are Kaman uh, bases. But um, so there's this this whole destroyed temple thing going on across the whole faction to give them a little bit of continuity. And then as kind of a secondary type of continuity, I have the mushrooms in many of the bases. They're on all the Bakamono bases. They're certainly on my Idol of the Deep here. Um, but uh, they are on many of the Oni bases as well. So, so there are ways when you're thinking about how you want a base um, that you can actually add story and add continuity to your, your faction by uh, how you design the bases.